Hey YouTube, it's Ergo, and I want to show you a new cool thing that they just added to the Tesla. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, Ergo6667, I already posted some things on there. Uh, great way to follow me for new things, quick things, but I want to show you guys on here. Let me uh, just take my key right here, and I'm going to show you first off. There's no one in the car right here. No one there. No one over there. What I can do now, if I just back off here so you can see, I hold, this is my key, it's in a little package, but if I hold this in, it flashes the lights a little there. And now, the car's actually on, and I can press this, the back of the car here on this little key, and I just activated it. Look at this, it's backing up by itself. Again, go into the car, it's opening up my garage door automatically. No one's there. And it's gonna back out of my garage here for me. This is the world's biggest RC car, basically. <laughs> look at this. This is this is incredible here. <laughs> look, look at this. This is so cool. So what this is really for is uh, if you have a really narrow garage or uh, eventually, I don't know, it might even work now, I haven't tried this yet. Uh, but if you're in a parking lot where it's a really tight spot, you could potentially use this there also. But look, the car parked out of, or came out of the garage. It just stopped right there automatically. And oh, now it's closing my garage door. So basically what this is for is so you can summon your car to you. If you're in a, a garage, you know, that's really tight, you can just have the car pull itself out and then basically just get right back in the car. So I'm gonna tell it to go back in also. I can do it the same way basically. So if I was, you know, just like come up, park the car right there, get out, and then I just hold this in. Makes the lights flash again. There you go, now it's on. And I just hold the front of the car so it goes forward. I just press it once, turn the car on. It's gone forward a little. Oh look, the garage door's closed. Oh, let's open up the garage door. I'm not pressing anything else by the way guys. It's just doing this. Um, and then yeah, it sort of turns the steering wheel a little bit. And it's just gonna drive itself in. Look, it's, it's doing it. <laughs> this is so cool. No one's in the car. Completely automatic. <laughs> it's just, you know, it looks to make sure there's enough room. It'll steer the car as it needs to. Gives it enough room on both sides there. Oh, did I move too far away? No, no, it's still going. If you go too far away, it does cancel it, um, I believe, I think. Uh, what this is again for right now, it's sort of an ultimate beta. Uh, <laughs> again, the world's biggest RC car, as I, I like to call it here. Um, once it gets out of beta and this thing is proven to work. Oh, it's closing the garage door on me. No, I, <laughs> I didn't do that. Wait for that to finish, but yeah, look. So it's completely closed, car's parked, it's turned off, and you know, I could go inside and go about my daily business. But yeah, anyway, after when this is fully done, in a couple of years, they say like two years or so, a month, or sorry, 12 months to 24 months, I don't know, it'd probably be a little more than that. But anyway, these things will be able to, <laughs> from your phone, you'll be able to call it, and it could, you know, drive across the country to go get you, which is the ultimate or the extreme case. But something I think it would be really useful for is, you know, <laughs> you drive to the airport or use autopilot and drive to the airport. You get out of the car, you tell it to go home to your garage. It drives home, it waits there. And then when you get back from the airport, uh, well, you, you know, you fly back in, you go on your phone when you land, you say, hey, car, come get me. It drives over to the airport, picks you up, and you just go home. That's, it's gonna be amazing when that is fully, fully done. But this is the first step, and it works really well. It, it's, I honestly, I, you know, they released this while I was on vacation. Uh, I just got it installed last night and just started playing around with it this morning, and I was just, I don't know, I'm just overly impressed. Um, you know, it's not all that useful for me at the moment here, since, you know, I can back out of my garage. But I can definitely see this being useful uh, to get in and out of tight parking spots. That, I mean, that's something that's always an issue with any car, and I think this could definitely help with that. And, you know, once summon is what they call it, uh, once that's sort of perfected and released fully, it's gonna just be amazing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. I'll see you guys again real soon. Take care.